across the states and even they talk about how different the Appalachian Mountains are and like how we talk and like there's big cities and then there's like super tiny places with like a lot of poverty and stuff like that so like I would definitely <laughs> consider it to be like a super diverse area. I feel like primarily um, when you're talking about stereotypes about the Appalachian area they do tend to go with poverty, um, uneducated. Um, there's a difference between being uneducated and not smart. Just because you're uneducated doesn't make you, I mean, dumb. You know, I didn't really consider it to be different from the rest of the country until I got to college. I was in one of my um, music history classes and my professor, she got her undergrad at Virginia Tech and at the time one of her professors told her she's never going to get anywhere because she's from Appalachia. You know this problem was really it is more than a hundred years old you know leading up to and after the Civil War the the local color movement um, was this writing phenomenon where journalists and um, newspaper writers would come down to the region and they realized that there there was a wealth of stories down here but also this really weird style of life as compared to what you would get in New York City oh let's write stories about that that suddenly sell you know in magazines and newspapers and so that's really where all these stereotypes started Tipples roared day and night 